everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I just want to do a quick look at the Samog Owners Club 2018 Taj Resin Brush. It's a bit of a mouthful. Now, that is what it looks like there. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not, I'll be honest with you, it wasn't, it's not my style. I'm not a big fan of ivory coloured things and I've never even held a brush with an ivory sort of colour or that creamy coloured handle. And I didn't think I would like it, if I'm honest. I just took a bit of a gamble with it. I've been talking with Samog on Instagram and I wanted to get the premium Serda, I think it's Serda, which is bow here in Portuguese, or yeah, bow, bristle, or bristle in Portuguese. But this is their premium knot, the same one that's in the Samog Owners Club, bow brushes, everything. I just wanted to have a look at it and show you guys it before I start the break-in process. Now, just looking at the tips on this brand new knot, they actually look pretty split already, I'm quite surprised. I think the blonde bow hair knot goes really well with the colour of the handle. And I think it really, just a little bit of silver around there just accentuates and splits it up a bit. I think it's a stunning looking brush. I think Samog have done an amazing job of it. Now, one thing I've noticed with this, I didn't, I've never noticed this before on the brushes because I i don't actually own one where it's inscribed on the front, but the M looks to be upside down and I don't, that's obviously part of the branding. It's got the registered trademark under it. It's just a lovely looking brush. So I'm going to get this soaking. I'm going to have a shower and let it soak for a good 10, 15 minutes and let it actually really absorb a lot of water that first initial soaking and go from there. I did ask them to pick out a, the, the best knot they could find basically so I'm hoping they have done I believe they will have done it does look like a really nice knot straight off the bat I'm almost expecting it to be reasonably soft tipped already so without further ado I should go and have a shower and I'll be back pretty much instantly okay I'm back pretty pretty swifty as you can see because it was instant I've had my shower I've shaved my head now my head shave video will be up before this one probably and I tell you what I had the quickest easiest most comfortable shave I've ever had using the Omni Shaver the Simog Owners Club Taj brush performed absolutely superb, super soft, really nice, but it did chew up the lather, so it really needs a good load. I probably need to reload the brush during this shave. But anyway, let's get the bowl filled up and get the shave on. The soap for today, as you've seen from the photograph and the name, is Captain Fawcett Shaving Soap. Now this is mainly, it's one of those brands where They've taken, they've made something look really old and vintage, but it's not, it's a new company, I believe. It's just got this lovely story behind it. Really nice reading, good reading on the site. It's, the, the photographs, the stuff they do on Instagram, it's really, really high quality stuff, good photographs. It's all really well done, I have to say. It's well branded, it's well well put out there to the public. And I think they're probably doing okay. I, I did really notice that they released uh, Giesen, Giesen Forstoff, straight razor, £150, and it looks lovely, really nice horn scales, it's a beautiful looking razor and really cheap in my opinion for what it is. I don't know whether it comes shave ready, but really nice looking razor. So here we go. I have rinsed this off since the head shave. I popped it back in the water while I was getting sorted for my face shave. So this is the Samog Owners Club. Taj resin, which I have absolutely no idea what Taj resin is, but so that's what it looks like soaked absolutely lovely handle lovely weight and it's got great ergonomics i really like the simple brushes for that and i'm just going to go straight on to the captain Fawcett soap here try and get a, a good load on i didn't get quite as good a load for the head shave as i wanted but i got plenty of soap for one pass which was all that was required the omni shaver absolutely blitzed through the head shave today 20 shaves on that cartridge razor and it doesn't feel like it's getting any any duller, if anything, it feels as good as it did the first use. Really impressed by it. I'm going to do the tips. So yesterday was the first game for me in the Police Emergency Services games. If you've watched the head shave, you're already know. But we had the first game at 10 past 9 in the morning. I didn't get the best of sleep the night before on Sunday night. And got to the games still feeling pretty fresh feeling feeling pretty good I was all ready to go I strapped all my ankles I was ready to rock and roll I was running around fine I was striking the ball fine warmed up well and then into the game 
I'd scored four goals. We were winning, I think at the time, 8-2, and I'd scored four of the goals. And then disaster struck when my I felt a pop in my calf. And I knew straight away what had happened, and I'm pretty sure I've torn a muscle that I've torn before, and re sort of torn where the scar tissue is. It wasn't nothing major, it was a tiny, tiny pop. But it's on the muscle that you use for your power, for sprinting and actually going from a standstill to getting up to speed. It's that muscle. And, it, and if you've played soccer before or any sort of sport where you need to have instant pace or as much instant pace as you can get, that's the muscle that you need. And unfortunately I tore it yesterday. So we won the first game 9-2. It finished. And then we got beat 6-1 in the second game. And then the third game we were at 1.31 up, I actually played in the last game and scored. But I just couldn't give it my all and I was absolutely devastated. I, I couldn't, I was devastated. I still am today thinking about it because these games only come around every now and then for you. And you, you do all the training, you, you get fit, you do all the good, all the right things, you eat healthy, you lose weight. And then when the time comes, disaster strikes. But it was the first ever showing from the Public Transport Authority at the Emergency Services Games and we have to hold our heads high. We did actually, the first game that we won, we won 9-2, it was actually against the Western Australia Police. So I was quite happy with that. Getting one over on my previous employer <laughs> on the field and scoring four goals into them as well. So it was good, it was a good experience. And it was excellent meeting a lot of people from different walks of life, different countries. It was, we played a team from the Singapore prisons. We played a team from New... Wow, this brush feels amazing. Brush doesn't even need broken in. Brilliant. I'm trying to think where that, that other team was. It was. It's an island next to New Zealand. New something. But they were a very good, very strong physical team. I still reckon we would have had a chance if I was fit. And it, no disrespect to the other guys, there's was, was some good players in our team. But a few of them are just a little bit out of practice. I just feel, I hate having regrets. It's not regrets, but you guys will know what I mean if you've been in that position before. Now I'm expecting this brush to chew the lather a bit and actually make it disappear for the first sort of 10, 15, 20 uses. It seems to be a trait that only Bo has. Some badger brushes do it, but Bo is the biggest, the biggest soap eating brush not out there I believe. I'm going to keep dipping the tips and just keep working this lather. What I find with bow hair brushes is it's quite hard when they're new to get the lather to feed to the base of the knot because it's so tightly packed it's not softened up yet. On my head shave, the ladder pretty much disappeared from the brush, there was nothing left in it.
But, wow, really impressed. This brush feels incredible, by the way. I have to really point out, this is a second use on a bow, not on my face, and I, and I had almost no scritch at all. In fact, I don't think there really was any scritch, just scrub, but it was a nice scrub. Right, the carved Christopher Bradley razor. I've got the B plate on here again. I'm sending off the three plates, the C, AA and A, up to Dustin in Perth today, so he can try them out before he pulls the trigger on one. And I'm using a Wilkinson sword, vintage, made in England, brand spanking new one. These were sent over to me from oh, Mr. Roland over in Glasgow. And here we go, let's see how it feels. Or let's see how it doesn't feel, because I can hardly feel that cutting in here. There's a lot to be said for vintage blades. <laughs> they really knew how to make things back in the day. It's almost like there's love put into these blades, it's like... The edges on them are just superb. That was an absolutely delightful first pass. The residual stickness is, is okay. I do find with new natural hair brushes as well, they sort of suck a little bit of the, the, the joy out of the soap. They take a little bit of that slickness away with them until you break them in and then all of a sudden it comes back again and you get that full feel of the soap. Now that's still relatively slick but it's not the usual Captain Fawcett slickness because this stuff is super slick generally. Right, let's see what we do. Yeah, there's no scritch off this brush. It feels beautiful. Now I'm not expecting windows with this ladder. So as you can see, the brush looks pretty bare now. There's not a lot in there. I will use this soap that I scooped on my chin and I should have enough for this pass. But I'm not holding my breath for the third pass of lather. Right, so the brush, as you can see now, is pretty damn bare. Oh, I've lost, I've lost a lot of little tip there. Looks like it's just snapped off. So here we go, cross the grain. So I've since found out as well, I've been trying to find obviously, I've been putting on my videos in 4K. Probably my last five shaves, six shaves have all been done in 4K. I've been trying to watch it on my iPhone, on my iMac, on my Android boxes, everything, trying to watch it in 4K and it wouldn't let me. And it would just appear that 
from what I've been reading, that Apple iOS isn't really supported for 4K through YouTube, which I find absolutely amazing. As you can see, there's literally nothing there. So even though I don't have to, I've got enough there, I'm just going to dip the tips and gather a bit more soap. I'll just aid in the breaking in process of the brush. So let me smash the soap a little bit more as well. Of course that needs quite a bit more water, but it's just the slickness I'm after really. This blade feels absolutely delicious. So smooth. But a tiny little weeper there on my lip, on my just here. A little clean up around the lips. That was just a simply stunning shave, I really enjoyed that. Just rinse the brush out. Rinse the soap out. Captain Fawcett's shaving soap, really, really nice scent. It's a, it's a soapy scent, but it's got a little bit of herbs and things through it. It's nice. It's really refreshing. The scent's quite complex. There's enough in there that when you actually lather up with the stuff, you smell it the whole time. Scent strengths are good for, and you can really smell it during your whole shave, which is nice. Post shave feel on Captain Fawcett's is lovely. I've got that nice matte effect feel on my head at the moment from the Fawcett's. And I'll get that on my face as well, but I will be finishing off this shave and my head as well with some Moil Grooming, which is right here. Moil Grooming Frosted Franken Light. I'm absolutely blitzing my way through this bottle. Three splashes, 
One, two, three for the head. And one, two, three for the face. Who'd have thunk lime and menthol would smell so good? The great thing with this stuff is the scent doesn't last long and within sort of half an hour I can put a splash on, put whatever I want on it I can rock that scent for the rest of the day Okay so really what I was sort of trying to get to with this shave was the brush The brush was the Simog Owners Club and this one is the 24mm Blonde Badger or Serda, premium Serda, and you can see there those tips look they look amazing already, and it's just the first use. This has got no scratch, a scratch, nothing. It just feels scrubby but soft, it looks softer than a bore brush, eh, than a badger brush. I can't really describe it to you. It looks like the tips actually gel from halfway down the the hair. It doesn't gel at the tips. It looks like the whole fibers gel together. The whole the whole actual strands. I can't really show it on the camera, but you can see it's starting to bloom out nicely now. Really, really high quality made brush. Not my sort of style, to be honest with you, but I've really grown to like this. I've, I've held it a little bit now. I look at it, it's got beautiful proportions. It just looks great in terms of its size. The knot matches well with the handle, the little silver ring. It's just a beautiful looking brush and it performs better than it looks. So, really impressed. The carve Christopher Bradley razor with the B plate, which is 0.83 blade gap, I think. No, no, 0.73 blade gap. 0.73, I'm pretty sure the B plate is something like that. So, yeah, not, not a whole heap of blade gap. Super smooth, should, still super efficient. There is the blade there. You can see it's the Wilkinson sword made in England. So these are vintage blades. I'm not sure what type of vintage, I don't know how far back they go but they're really, really smooth and sharp and comfortable blades. Finished off today with Moyle Grooming, Frosted Frankenlein, which in my opinion, there's not many better splashes on earth. Really, the, the moisture feel afterwards is incredible. It absorbs very, very quickly. It brings out the redness in your skin and then allows it to just dissipate and you end up with really nothing. This was an ingrown, that is, I think that's a spot or an ingrown, I'm not sure, but my skin, is starting to clear up again, which is good. I'm starting to get used to wet shaving every day again as I was before the, the beard. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that one. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.